well, I guess this is all going to be here. So good afternoon. I'll call the meeting of the Committee on City Services and the Northampton City Council to order at 4 p.m. October 7th. And uh, Laura, would you call the roll, please? Sure. Um, Councillor Bidwell, now present. Councillor Nash. Present. Um, Councillor Carney. Present. Councillor LaVar. Present. Thank you. And so the first item is the, uh, I'll note that there's no public comment and that we are being audio video recorded. Uh, we have minutes of July 1st and August 15th. Move to approve. Second. Okay, moved and seconded for those two sets of minutes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and then we just have the few appointees um, to take up tonight. And uh, Jim, I think you- Catherine Footnote. Yes. That's so uh, I had it. I didn't have a conversation. I had a little text exchange with uh, <laughs> Catherine Foot Newman and um, that um, I know her from working on the finance committee over at Cutchins Programs and um that 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 in, in terms of investments um, all of the different products and all of the different the, the way the industry works uh kathy is is very 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 competent the other thing i always appreciate with kathy is she will ask very difficult questions right. and she doesn't mind if people squirm a little while she asks them uh because it, when you're dealing with people's money, their important questions need to be asked. And, um, and I think she's perfect for our trust fund committee. And the, um, she's super competent with numbers and nothing gets by her. Um, she's the sort of person you want looking at your finances. <laughs> so um, I'd like to make a re recommendation that we move her name forward with a positive recommendation. I am going to abstain because Kathy is married to my nephew. Well, that might make it difficult in terms of voting, but I is it? not support it. Yeah, oh, because she's a relative? Yes. Oh, we're close in the family. Hmm. So we could. Yeah. We can vote. Yeah, well, we can. And we can, we'll just, um, we'll, we'll, uh, well, all those in favor, those of us. Aye. Aye. So, uh, and uh, all those opposed, none, abstaining? Yes. Okay. So we can say that we're sending it forward with a positive recommendation with two members voting and one abstaining and one absent. Yeah, will you be the second then? I guess, oh no, yeah, I'll, I'll you know, call me the second. I'm not supposed to make motions right. or seconds as the chair, but that's okay. I wish I was familiar with the rule of necessity. At under yeah, I know, right, right. 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 Um, I don't think that there'll be a problem. No. To, if there is, then, you know, mm. there's the so majority of the quorum. Anyway. Right. Well, yeah. well I'll, I'll, although to be a stickler, we might I'd have to take it out of um, the con the consent agenda to explain. But no, I think no, I'll just leave it because mm -hmm. the minutes speak for themselves. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Number two. Thank you. Uh, so we now on to the next one. Yes, please. Okay. Housing partnership. Uh, Reverend Todd Weir. I uh, try as I might, I have not been able to have a conversation with him. And um, that, um, however, this is for a reappointment and this is for a well-known member of our community. And um, I'm, th I'm hoping we can send forward his name with a positive recommendation in this circumstance. I want to second that. Okay, moved and seconded to send the name of Reverend Todd Weir with a positive recommendation for appointment to the housing partnership. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And no opposed or abstaining. Thank you. Oh, and then uh, <laughs> Council of Barge for the Parks and, <coughs> Parks and Recreation, Kathleen Elliott. Yes. Um, Kathleen Elliott lives in Leeds, and Kathleen, um, all her life, uh, for 69 years, and she grew up in the Leeds area. Um, and when she got married, they moved to Leeds, and she had children, and she has grandchildren, grandchildren who have participated in the recreation department. And she has a love for the recreation department and wants to be part of the community because of what she sees and what they do. She feels that she would love to be on this um, commission, Party and Recreation. 
send that as a motion. Um, asking that as a motion. Okay, so it's been moved Second. to send with a positive recommendation. The name Kathleen Elliott for appointment to the Parks and Rec Commission. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And no opposed and none abstaining. So yes, then I had the uh, last two who were both uh, appointments to the planning board. Um, Alan Versons is actually, he, we know him because he's been an associate member for years and is now filling the unexpired term of Tess Perompo. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, in, in terms of reviewing um, Mr. Versons, I just refer us back to this committee's um, review of his um, application two years ago, maybe Councilor Nash, maybe you were to remember. No, no, you know what? Because Councilor Ryan. Yeah. So, so what, what happened, happened was there was a um, there was a motion to um, send with a neutral recommendation, or actually it might have been just. Um, oh no, no, I understand. Now I remember. So we reviewed, we sent with a positive recommendation from this committee. Right. And um, Ryan O'Donnell was also on the, on this committee, but not present at that meeting. And then right. at the council meeting, he um, expressed um, opposition right. to that appointment. And, the, and so it ended up, and in those, I don't remember why we had two votes or maybe, but we all heard from Mr. Verson here, and there were many people who spoke to um, some of the issues that were raised by uh, Councilor O'Donnell. In that case there, it became uh, um, a matter of uh, whether an appointment, because, because you may disagree with a person's um, uh, decisions made on that board. On that planning board. Right. <coughs> and so, at any rate, um, Mr. Verson uh, spoke to us at length regarding that, as did the mayor and other members of the council. So it's my, uh, I mean, I'm happy to again put forth his name for a positive recommendation, <coughs> um, especially since, as I tell most applicants, I mean, my Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for their willingness to serve for the most part. I mean, if they, they show up and they participate, yes. I mean, we're very lucky to have, especially someone of Mr. Burson's experience and, um, and perspective. It's important to have exactly. varied perspectives on, on uh, boards. So I'll ask someone for a positive recommendation. I will make that motion. Make that motion <laughs> for a positive recommendation. A second, and I'd like to make a comment. Please. Uh, that he, he, I think that he, during, from that time and between then and now, he was also up for reappointment to the TPC oh, because he's yes. the liaison with right. the TPC. Yes. And um, that, and so I think we voted on his dual appointment, this other appointment in the last year or so. Oh, yeah, that's right. And okay. that, um, that, you know, I can say from the, from the TPC, he always does his homework, yeah. and he uh, he's always asking good questions. They sometimes seem a little contrary to what we're always about, um, but I think I I agree with you, Councillor. It's it's good to have somebody asking questions as as we deliberate, and um, he's very good at that. Yes, right, and has definitely shown a a commitment to service on the city on the city board. So. Absolutely. Um, all those in favor of sending this name forward with a positive recommendation, say aye. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you. And finally, um, I wasn't able to speak with Mr. Whitehill, but I did review his application. And again, so he would be filling as an associate member <coughs> the uh, unexpired term of Alan Burson. And um, so uh, David Whitehill is an architect locally. He's lived, lived here for. Um, six years and works for Climate Halspod and Architects. I'm not sure where they are, but I'm assuming they're local. <coughs> Excuse me. And says in his application, I am an architect licensed in Mass, Connecticut, New York, working primarily on institutional buildings and sites. I also have specialty in historic buildings, adaptive reuse, and complex zoning landmark sites. I have professional background in urban design as well. I have an overriding interest in an urban future 
That focuses on pedestrian-friendly environments, safe bike lanes, accessible sidewalks and streets, affordable and accessible housing, especially in the urban core, a safe and resilient city for all, maintenance and a dynamic future for our historic buildings, integration of a new preservation plan with the new sustainable Northampton plan. And also tells us that his wife, Marissa, and he have twin girls going into third grade at Jackson Street School. So I think that, uh, again, we're very fortunate to have people of, you know, professional, in, especially in something like the planning board with a, such a related um, experience, mm -hmm. professional um, acumen. So I would ask again for a recommend, uh, motion, please. I'll make a motion for it to send forward the name of David Whitehill with a positive recommendation to sit down. I second that. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, say aye, please. Aye. 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 Okay, very good. Make with that list of appointments. Well, in terms of new business, we don't have any, but to note that, um, well, we talked about this at the city council meeting, that we're being referred to us is going to be the um, two street acceptance. <coughs> oh, weren't we supposed to take them up today? No. Um, Thank it God. was supposed to be until November. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. that's right. I didn't say that. Yeah. No, it's an city clerk. No, 15 no, days ahead okay. of time. A little tickle. So, yes, it should be November 4th. Okay. So, I say that. Yeah, okay. And what time is Mary, um, what, Marie Westberg coming? Well, um, I think I told her that the meeting starts at 4, so as of now, she's expecting to show up at 4 if, you know, that's still all right. But yeah, and what did we decide? To give her a half an hour and then to... Um, we talked about, yeah, scheduling the And then scheduling the public hearing at 4.30. And then, okay. and then okay. if she's still, I mean, you can open it any time after 4.30. Right. So... Right. Yeah. People might show up and we'll say, we're just running a few minutes late or whatever, right. or if we feel like But then that. you won't have to, and early, you won't have to wait to open the Right, hearing, right, right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, so we have the public hearing for those two streets, and that's all going to be posted and all. And then we also have Marie Westbrook, and whatever other appointments we get. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll, we'll some, somebody will be here to present for the street exceptions, like maybe somebody from the DGW. Yeah. And you guys understand the basic explanation. Yeah, we got our, you got that letter too from um, Donna, right? It was a few good. Maybe a month ago. Yes. Well, she explained the yes. reasoning for needing to accept those two. Right. There was that a process the, all laid out between her and Attorney Seawolf. Yeah, it's a technicality, really, oh, because they are city streets, but yeah. apparently it hasn't. They were never accepted in the, you know, proper proper manner. So, mm -hmm. even though we treat them as city streets, we plow them and we do everything else, and they are, both of them, very main arteries in a way, connectors. <laughs> they, they, I mean, you have to, you have to get how many thousands of cars go through there. So um, I think maybe what we'll get a, a presentation on is um, just, you know, the where it is and how it may have been that those portions were inadvertently um, And if anybody has any questions, it'd be helpful to have someone there to answer them. Because I think Attorney Seawald um, told me there will be um, takings as part yes. of this. Somehow this, this Eastman's were never actually accepted or taken. Oh, the Eastman's so, part, I don't remember so saying. I have to look at that thing. Are well, these temporary Eastman's or permanent Eastman's? That happens after you guys lay out the street. You know, oh, okay. order to lay out the street, then you would have to have an order to accept the Eastman's or take. You mean as part of as part of the King Street? Right? The, as, you mean Eastman's is part of the King Street reconstruction? Yeah, because we right. just but did that. We just voted street, on those Eastman's. But I, I just know Attorney Seabolt said there were some takings involved. So maybe there'll be some mm -hmm. residents here. Well, that would be helpful to yes, that would be know. Because I have to give notice to any recorded owner of land subject to taking, which I don't even know who the people are yet. Who was supposed to notify them? Well, yeah. I am supposed to notify them of the street layout public hearing according okay. to the state law. So okay. I actually need to get, and that's supposed to be seven days. Mm -hmm. So you have to get every resident on that end of Finn Street and that piece of or the whoever, property whoever yeah, the is property. having their land somehow taken. So I'll have to get that list. Oh, for the ones who yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so assuming it's not everybody along the street, but I don't know. Because if you recall, well. Counselor, what we did on King Street, they were not temporary easements because we had to give them money, clear 
the old oh, you mean the Dalek Road, all, all the different road stuff? Those yeah. were permanent. <coughs> those I would imagine dangerous. this would be the same thing. Yeah. I would assume so. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't even know if it, it almost sounds like the city, what's that, uh, adverse possession, the city's <laughs> right, <laughs> right, taking, right, taking care We wouldn't have to give up money at this point. I don't yeah. have no idea, but. Right, that, right. I don't know what the agreement would be between. I uh, know. A land notice, but it's certainly been Well, so we will receive some sort of synopsis about the legal, um, uh, yeah, parts of it all. Well, that's what I was thinking people may ask questions about. You know. Well, if they ask us questions, we'll defer to the people who have the answers. Exactly. Right. And that's why we <laughs> need that. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm not professional enough to say, well, this is why we're doing this, and this is what it's going to cost, or how much land we're going to. I'm not an Yeah, agent. no, no. We're expecting that somebody exactly. will explain to us if, if they can. Yes. Yeah. Um, what, and also be here if there are residents that have questions that we can defer to. Okay, that's good to know. Yes. Okay, so first it's Marie Westberg, and then yeah. and then we'll end with our appointments yeah. just for so people are waiting. No good. Sounds good. All right, and then uh, we have another meeting here. Oh, I do. Are you? And you? I'll be here. Come here too. Legislative yeah. matters. Oh, wow. So, anyway, is there a motion to adjourn? I move to. Second. And second all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.